Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on our behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important app. Today we are discussing about YCC 365 Plus for PC. So in this video, we are going to discuss with you what is YCC 365 Plus for PC, what are its features and function, then we'll tell you its minimum system requirement. And after that, we will move to practical part that how you get the file, how you install the, this file, and once after successful installation, how we, you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. So keep watching till end. Please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel. Basically, the Y665 Plus for PC is an app which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on your mobile screen or in laptop screen. It is a software program for monitoring the CCTV camera on the computer screen. It is also used to monitor the camera on remote locations over the internet. The main purpose of this app, by using this app, you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, but you can see the multiple channels at a time. You watch the recording of the cameras, means the recording is stored on your hard drive. You can access it from this software. You take the snapshot of the video. You control the PTZ camera, means you are able to pan tilt and zoom. Even you can zoom in, zoom out. All the things you can control from this app. You save the live view of the camera and you can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, saturation, etc. And you take the backup of the recorded videos and you control the quality of the video recording and many more. Now, as far as its minimum system requirement is concerned, you should have at least Core i5 processor or can you should have at least 4 GB of RAM and 50 GB of free space on your drive. Why this is too much? Because when you see the video, you may want to record it, you may want to take a snapshot, for that you should give access to at least 50 GB stored on your system. And as far as OS is concerned, you should have at least Windows 8, 10 or even 11. Now we'll move our video to practical parts, means how you get, you, you get the file. For that you should open your browser or in my case I am using Chrome, so I am use, open my Chrome browser and search for YCC. 365 plus for PC and here is my favorite one just open the website and this web website not only give you the file but also how you can install the software all the things mentioned here so you can check at your end I'm not wasting any time and I just go for the here you find the cloud ECC cloud for Windows just click on that Here you should wait for a few seconds and after that your file become ready. And now click on that. Close the ad. The file start downloading. Let the file to be installed to be finished first. That how you install and how you configure. Now it is installed on your system, just click in show in folder. When you click on the show in folder, it will redirect to your download page. Here is your downloaded file, just right click on the downloaded file and click extract. And open the software. When you extract it, you find the folder name same as the file name. Just open the folder. And here is your application file or .exe file or installer file. Just right click on the application file and click as run as administrator. and click OK. Now click I agree. Here you, you can set the location where it want to install. Just click install. And now it starts installing. It is totally automatic process. You don't need to do anything. Once it is successfully installed, you get the successful notification message. Now just click run EC Cloud 3.0 and click finish. When you tick this, it will automatically open the software.
So basically, this is the interface of the software and this is your login screen. You should you just click on this login button. When you click this, you find that here you find the all the tutorial means it trained you how to use different option. So basically this is the PDF. You can access it. Everything is mentioned on that, this PDF. Just close this. So this is the interface of the software after login. Here you find a lot of options like playback, here you, you check the recording, here you check device management, here you can record the live screen, here you take a screenshot and here the screen number for example if you want a single camera view you can select it from here. So this is all about little bit about the software the, and the first thing you should do you should add camera here or add your device here. Here you do find two things like modify and add. The first thing you should do you should click on this plus add button or you should go to the device management and when you go to the device management just click allow access and here you see that it is start scanning so basically when your pc and your device both are connected to the same network then you see the device here okay and if you want to connect a remote location device then you should click add this add button okay and here you can ha have a two option like cloud id and ddns so basically you have a two option so if you click click on the cloud id basically cloud id is used when you want to connect any remote location device then you should use cloud id now the question arises where did you get this cloud id for that you should open your device means dvr and your cam and go to the information option or a network option you find the thing over there now you should enter that cloud id and ask for a username and password so please don't be confused this is username and password of the device device means device you're adding it may be a dvr nvr whatever you want and here you see that in all the thing remain and here you can see the number of channel for example you are adding a 16 channel dvr you put the 16 here okay and if you want to connect by using a local IP address, you should click here. So I, I want to connect by using a local IP address. So I just go there. Okay. And now port number remains same. If you change the port number, if your port number is different, you, you log in your device and go to the port network option over there, you find the port number. And here you, you ask for a username and password. So here is my username and here is my password and my device name you can put any de device name here but you should use that device name it usually remember for example if you are adding a home camera you just click home device or home cam okay but i make a video just for education training purpose by just push like test device okay and here it's you find the number 16 i have a 16 general dvr and click finish device is added successfully now cancel this and go to the live menu just close this and go to the live menu and just click on this play button your camera comes live so thanks for watching thank you thank you have a nice day